Legion, it's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI Rise and Fall in our Glory of Rome 2 series where we have just declared war on Cleopatra. And uh, as a result, we seem to be at war with uh, a Monitor and Sunduck as well. Didn't notice that. So uh, now it's really going to get fun, especially since uh, a Monitor is down here and uh, I'm up here. So we're going to have to end Cleopatra very quickly. As a matter of fact, I imagine you guys probably told me something along those lines um, in the previous... episodes comments having noticed that since I declared war in the very end just didn't pick up on that until just now all right let's see Prosperina is a new spy let's go ahead and send them to mess with we actually don't know of any cities here um you're an ace driver though so since we're back at war now let's send you to Babylon. We need to potentially liberate Babylon. Alright, now what are you doing? I could take... Oh God, I could do so much with this unit. Tell you what, we're just going to annihilate that unit there. Shit, that's going to fall in the next turn. As I mentioned at the end of the last episode, one of the realities we're facing is that by engaging in this warfare, as we're doing right now... Let's see, what are you? You can fabricate scandals, that's right. So we need to send you to a city-state. What's a city-state that we're at war with? We're at war with Brussels. Kind of like the idea of taking Hong Kong But I also like the idea of making sure that Auckland remains ours. So, I'm going to go ahead and send you to Auckland. And we're going to fabricate scandal in Auckland. That way we can enjoy the production bonuses in our coastal cities indefinitely. All right, Spec Ops, you just stay put. I feel like I hadn't finished a thought a moment ago. But that's okay. Alright, this battleship... Alright, we have this settler that now needs to come onto land. So, let's see. One of the reasons I brought this, these units over here was to get this oil. So, I think it is time to go ahead and set up for that. I think the snow hills there are going to be the best. Yep, that's the spot to go. Alright, and then we are going to move these guys down where? China's got some units. They're going to they're be in frisky again, but... My main concern at present is actually <laughs> my main concern is Egypt. So we're going to bring the, these units down here to assist. Oh, let the fun begin. I've been excited about this. My artillery are almost in position. This isn't going to be pretty. Egypt is making a concerted attempt at counterattacking. For the record, they're failing. But it's real cute to watch them try. They just gave my unit some more promotions. Okay. Thanks for that. Makes them stronger, and they can heal from the pitiful amount of damage you've done to them, and reduce the likelihood you'll do any damage in the future. Good job with that counterattack. That really helped you. And by helped, I mean hurt. Okay, so this modern armor unit... Okay, we do have some more promotions, definitely, but... That's one thing I really hope they change in coming patches, the way that units that need promotions can get stuck, in a way. It's it's a it's a funny thing. All right, so like if there's a unit that is at the maximum level, but it earns a promotion and it's first in line in the notification queue, 
like you click on the unit needs a promotion and you get stuck at the one that you can't promote and you can't find the other units by clicking the notification. It's it's annoying. Yeah, this alliance expired. I know. Can I maybe... Guys, we... Guys. Okay. They don't like me anymore. My friends don't like me anymore. Maybe it's because I'm actually kind of a warmonger at this point. Uh, yeah, that's going to do great general, for sure. That's happening. Now, I have... <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, thanks. Good talk. All right. Keep city. All right. That's that's done. Oh, next. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's move you here. I can't quite fire this turn, which makes me sad. So instead, we're going to just annihilate a few other cities in the area of the capital. Gain some wonders in the process. Oh man, this is adorable. They're trying to defend their territory so hard, you guys. Like... You can't but respect their heart. We need research labs. Because we lost our science alliance. <laughs> science alliance. Oh, why have I not thought of that sooner? Science alliance. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a joke that's going to come back. Okay, now I don't really want you trading with Sparta anymore. Well, you're still getting science and culture from trading with Sparta, so maybe I do want you trading with Sparta. I'm just mad at Sparta. I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed and alone. I'm going to go ahead and attack Memphis. We might have just taken it. Oh my god, we did. Okay, so we can move after attacking there, but we can't actually put that unit anywhere else. That's fine. I just want to get some units up in this vicinity. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna be we're gonna be done with this in another turn or two. The only thing again is that taking these cities from Cleo means that my culture victory just got a little bit harder. That's okay. We're gonna have you guys just chill out for a second. That's right. I've got a whole other unit that I can mess with here. Let's see. Well, maybe you won't chill out. Maybe we'll have you attack. Abydos. And take it. Because we can. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, this is funny. Alright, so Abydos is mine now. Egypt's like, what's going on? Alright, Douglas MacArthur. <laughs> We're gonna transfer Douglas MacArthur to Memphis. <laughs> They're not gonna be able to stop me. There's nothing that they can do. 
kind of sound like the Joker at this point. I, the, the way I was laughing just now reminds me of the interrogation scene in The Dark Knight. You have nothing to threaten me with. Nothing to do with all your strength. Oh, I've watched that scene entirely too many times. It's good stuff. But, to, I mean, this, this is funny. This is genuinely hilarious. You have to admit. Doing a little bit of exploration here. Uncovering some of the fog of war. Alright, nuclear submarine. And that will give us a little bit more mobility here, which is quite nice. Let's have you just kind of chill out there. We're going to go to the next turn. Each... <laughs> Please go ahead. Please try. Oh, please kill one unit. If if you kill one unit, I will give you a standing ovation. I will literally stand out of my chair while recording, bump into my microphone. They'll hear it because they hear a thunk, and that's me. And then they'll hear me clapping, and they'll know that I was serious and that I was a man of my word and cheered for you right before I stomped your face into the ground. God, I hate it so much. Okay. <laughs> I'm a big laser believer. I the Courtney Cox quote. The wave oh, of the future. Uh, the wave of the future. But, um. Tss. I actually hate that I just did that a little bit. Like, the, the, the phoneticization of the drums and the cymbals. The popular one seems to be but, um. Tss. But I actually have always gone but, Like, so it's not the. It, how would you spell it? B-A-D-U-M-T-S-S? -S? Like, that's the one that everyone says. But, um, tss, but it's like, no, it's B-A-D-O-O-N and then C-H-H-H-H-H-H-H. -h 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 -h. You know, I don't know. Things that you think about when you like language. Um, so... Rockadet? Rockadet. Thieves? Thieves. Hey, Rocketette. <laughs> I didn't quite take it. Hang on. I got one more attack. <sighs> Bye, Cleo. Yeah. Yeah, not a who yourself. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, so that's probably a setback in our side. Yeah, yeah, you can tell a little bit. Like we're we're a little bit lower than what we were, but at the same time, we're still making a lot of progress. We're gonna keep these cities, and uh, Egypt is no longer a problem, and we're now at war with a monitor. So. Let's actually take a look at this, because now that I'm looking at this, we, we've conquered a number... We might actually be able to pull off a domination victory in short order here, if I move quickly. I would just have to conquer the capitals of my former allies and do so rapidly. That's the only thing that would take extra time. And I don't necessarily know that I want to do that with Gathering Storm right around the corner. Well, again, you're watching this, there might already be a Gathering Storm video going live on the channel. Yeah, this one in particular, because this episode is Wednesdays. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are, are you guys are probably. No, no, Thursdays. Thursdays, yeah. There's very likely at this point a Gathering Storm series going. So, I mean, this is fun to watch, I'm sure, but it's not Gathering Storm. It's not, I mean... Gathering Storm as an expansion is even more substantive. It's probably not an order of magnitude, but at least twice or three times as substantive as Rise and Fall was. It's insane. And I genuinely mean it's 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 a huge expansion. And it's really, really I respect the amount of work they they put into it for sure. And yes, I'm queuing up a ton of builders because I'm not really paying attention. But that's okay. We do need to queue up those builders. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff repaired. I'm gonna buy the granary there. 
So what wonders did we pick up from that? We picked up the Colosseum, which is nice. Picked up uh, the... Oh my gosh, that's the um, uh, Hagia Sophia. And then what else do we have? Mm, I, I don't think she really had any other wonders aside from, from those, unless I'm just not seeing them. Did she have any coastal wonders? No, not really. Because she's Cleopatra and she's dumb. Alright, let's go ahead and give you the extra flanking bonus there. Good work. Uh, plus 10 combat strength when defending versus melee class units. Sure, why the heck not? Douglas MacArthur, let's have you hang out with this here artillery unit. And then this modern armor unit also needs a little bit of a promotion. As do you. One additional attack return if movement allows. Sure. And of course, Dario can steal great works. So we want to steal great works most likely from... Yeah, let's, let's steal them from you down here. It's time. We need to go ahead and get these settlers out into the world. That rice tile could be really handy for having a rapidly growing city in this area. So that's where we're going to put one of the settlers. We have another rice tile over here. Same thing. And then... Is there a Plains Hills tile... Yes, there is. Right there. Somewhat near that city, though. Is there one farther down here, perhaps? Ooh, there's one on that island. I don't like that, though. Yep, right there. It's going to be some turns until it's done, but that's okay. And then Elmo can neutralize governors, and that's fine. We need governors neutralized, so let's work on that. Now, some of these traders, this this trader, you're trading with with Rome. That's fine. I think you need that. This mechanized infantry can move up that direction. We still have a lot of units to core up. Like, I, I could have been, a lot of the building decisions I've been making in terms of construction, I could have been doing armies instead, and I fully acknowledge that. That's the truth. I kind of want to just bring some of these units out here to explore a little bit. Okay, so let's bring you over here. It's still going to take you a while, all things considered. Why do you keep doing that? See, this is the unit that I just gave that order to. The settler is going on to land and going on their own way. That's really strange. I don't know what to make of that. It was doing that in the kind of the order prediction last episode or two episodes ago when I was trying to figure out that. And I, and I wasn't really vocalizing and I was just kind of looking at it going, okay, well, that's not something I can tell it to do. So I'm not going to talk about that as an option. But it's still, it's still happening. It's weird. All right, so... Missile cruiser. Oh, this submarine needs to be promoted before I send it scouting. Absolutely. This battleship needs the same. Alright, it's now a missile cruiser. Excellent. Okay, we're happy to let the world know we stand united as friends. Alexander decided maybe I don't want to piss Rome off. Maybe we should declare a friendship. That was a good move, Alexander. If only Gorgo could be as smart as you. So we can make a new... What kind of alliance did I have with him? I never think of the future. You should. Alliances. I kind of want to do a cultural alliance. God, that ugly, ugly grin. Oh my god, no, stop. It's creepy. You look like one of the... Robots from Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, God, now I can't unsee it. Uh,
Yeah, let's go for cultural. Because we are... I just feel like that's the victory type we're most likely to arrive at. Uncontrollably. Alright, yeah, just keep working towards the future civic, that's fine. And then Corinth, what can you be working on here? Work on the Manhattan Project in Corinth. Or we can do it in Rome in one turn. I think I'd rather do it in Rome. Well, let's definitely get a trader going. And do a spaceport in Athens. Seems like a good call. Another builder in Uruk. So what was Egypt is now being repaired and made Roman. We are going to promote Reina. And what city? She's currently in Chennai. Culture-wise, or tourism-wise, what city is generating the most tourism? Looked at this a while ago. Rome's generating a fair amount. So is Pergamon. Might make sense just to have her in Pergamon or possibly Corinth. Duh. Or maybe Athens. Yeah. Let's put you in Athens. Governors. Governor, where, where are you? Governors. Alright, you are going to be reassigned to the formerly Greek city of Athens. Give me more tourism. Please and thanks. Alright, gain some sources in Babylon. We need to try to get Babylon to rebel. Alright, and this rocket artillery army we're going to bring right back down here. We do need to get our units back down to this front line quickly. Given that we're at war with Nubia. Not even necessarily because we wanted to be, but just because that's how the chips fell when war got declared and the various alliances that were in place were called into effect. Not caring too much about exact positioning, I just, I want these troops down south, so to speak. You see what happened there? The game did it again. I had the other unit selected. There was a, um, there was a anti-tank unit and a, a, uh, infantry unit right next to each other. And I selected one of them, and in the process of dragging the camera to where I wanted to move that unit, it, uh, it selected the other one. That is one of the issues with Civ 6's, uh, UI that hasn't been fixed yet, and it's the oddest thing. I, I can't, it always happens so quickly, I don't know, like, how to say how it's happening. Plus one movement for you, definitely. Missile cruiser upgrade for you, definitely. And then, yeah, you're just going to go out and explore stuff. Got uranium. Missile cruiser upgrade for you, very good. Uh, we'll keep you there until you're actually promotable. We're going to settle you there. Nice. Road built automatically, as you would expect. This is Rome. All the roads do lead there. All these builders that I've been working on. I'm improving some tiles that don't need to be improved, so... Eh. Alright, we're 25 minutes in. Where does the time go? Oh, Gorgo decided to be smart. We'd be happy to let the world know we stand united as friends. Okay, good. I would rather end the game... 
I can go for Cultural Alliance with her as well. And we can just cruise. Okay, great person. Great Admiral. Excellent. A great Admiral we could really use at the moment. Alright, let's finish that trader in Rome, because it looks like we were building one a while back for some reason. Alright, so we're going to set up an alliance. But we can't do a cultural... That's right, we can't do a culture, uh, more than one of the same type of alliance. So in this case... I guess the best thing to do would be a research alliance just to finish things off. Or maybe... Maybe an economic alliance. Let's do that instead. There we go. That worked out. And on that note, I will stop this episode here. In the next one, we are going to move on Nubia. Which is going to be fun. Um, because they have been the closest contender to us. Again, the more military action we pursue the less likely we are to actually win a cultural victory. So it's, it's counterproductive what's, what's happening right now. Like we're trying to roll towards the end of the series as quickly as possible, but we're at war with these jerks that decided they want to try and take on Rome. I want to beat their faces into the ground because it's glory of Rome too, and why wouldn't you? But the more I do that, the further I push back quickly ending the series with a runaway culture victory and the more I kind of obligate myself to do a domination victory while knowing that this series needs to end so that we can make room for gathering storm content. I'm on the horns of a dilemma. Tell you what, I'm not going to record any more of this series until I hear that's what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for the comments on this episode before I record more. You guys tell me what you want to see when you watch this one. There's not that many people actively commenting on the series, and that's normal for this point. Um, so, I mean, there's lots of people watching, but, like, actively commenting is another question. So, let me know. Even if you're not an active commenter, chime in. Share some thoughts. And um, that, that can help me kind of decide. And it, you guys know the way I operate. I like to just kind of experience the, the games that I, that I enjoy and share the stories with you and, and bring you along for the ride. It's, it's not... A purely democratic process there's some there's some autocracy involved for sure i get to have the final say in like what goes live and when i stop series and when i continue them etc but you know i like to hear from you and in this case it's like eh, I, I need a sense for what what i should do based on the people that are going to be watching like would you rather i just go full tilt to the gathering storm content or finish this one off and if i do finish it off in what way should i etc again let me know what you think comments are always welcome and I will see you, again, new episodes coming out every day at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. So I will see you next time.